Okay, so this is part two of our September pickups. A lot of stuff uh, we wanted to talk about this month, so that's why we divided it up in two videos. So stay tuned, and we will continue what we started. So uh, we've been collecting a lot of Wii games, as you've seen in the past, and uh, we're going to dedicate this whole next section to bunch of Wii games we got. There was yeah, a buy two get one. Because they were so cheap. They were so well, they're so cheap, and there was a buy two get one free sale at GameStop. So those cheap games in combination with the sale led to a big fat stack. But it's way too many to talk about. So stay tuned and take a look at what we got. Check them out. So a video game con, as we mentioned, was a really good time. Uh, great to get to get together with our good friends again and see some new people like Pete Dore and uh, check out a really yeah, cool con. Yeah, Pete was super, super sweet, by the way. But, of um, course, there are pickups. Yes, pickups. Like pick um, again, shout out to Paul. I don't know if we shouted out to him. For yeah. It. Okay. Shout yeah, out again, dude, because deserves it was an another awesome one. convention. We had so. a blast. But, yes, pickups that we got from the con. So uh, more Wii games because there wasn't enough already. Um this one, another game I found out about from my friend who likes flight simulators um, and airplane games. It's called Wing Island. It's a Hudson game, and it's uh, an airplane game, but I think you play as cats or something. I don't know. It's weird, but um, it's a really cheap game at GameStop, but I kept finding it without manuals, without boxes, so yeah. got that oh. at the con. And this game was eluding me for some reason. <laughs> At, uh, I love the name of it. It's the greatest. I know it's a great, a great bad pun, but um, could not find this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's just it for fits, you guys. It fits with the theme of the game. Um, it is called Pirates Plunder. That's and, the thing you have to yeah, emphasize plundar. on that dar. Get it, dar, because it's a pirate game. No, I saw this game, but it's not a pirate slaughtered. Game. Uh... <laughs> I saw this jokes. game getting slaughtered in a review video review saying it was really bad, but I was watching it and I'm like, that looks kind of cool. It's pretty much a Castle Crashers It's clone. just Castle Crashers, so. totally ripped off. And it is, I played it, and uh, yeah, it's got some performance issues, but I think it could still be a fun co-op game. It says up to four-player beat-em-up action, and I love beat-em-ups, so. And you can't go wrong that. when it's called Pirates Plunder. <laughs> exactly. So, got those. And then uh, there's another Wii game, but this one was actually bought from a friend. Yes, our buddy uh, Chris Lake. Who's... Or actually, the box and manual. We're yeah, friend. and not the whole. We got the, the disc. Game. Um, so I've been really getting into Dragon Ball Z. I know I'm a little behind the times, but I'm what? How many episodes are we? Hundred and something. Um, into the series, it's freaking awesome, she and I'm it. so sad that I didn't get into it sooner. So naturally, when I get into something, then I kind of want to get different or collect all things in different. All the things. All the things. Yes. Um, so. This is the... Actually, be, there's a million Dragon Ball Z games out here. This particular one is Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Budokai? I can't even talk. Budokai. Budokai. Uh, Tenkaichi. What he said. Yeah. It's a complicated one. It is. Three. Tongue twister. Three. Um, I really don't know that much about this game, but it looked pretty awesome because it looks like he used the Wiimotes to do the different fight and moves stuff, yeah. and fight and stuff. So, um, pretty... You know, stoked to get that because what the other copy that we had, it was the game, but it was it's like a, game a fake, crappy, yeah, crappy printed, no crappy manual, manu crappy uh, art cover. It was black and white actually. <laughs> so now it's complete, um, full color manual or full color cover and manual and stuff. So really hey, cool. we have that now. In addition to that, um, Not for Game one. Boy Advance, uh, Dragon Ball: The Legacy of Goku Two or Dragon Ball Z, excuse me, the Legacy of Goku Two. Uh, complete in box, I believe. Yes. Yeah, with everything's all the in there. Things. Poster, I believe, is in there, too. So. Poster. Oh, I think I'm going to open this and show oh. it. Oh. 
Grot. <laughs> I just had to say it once. Oh no, Vegeta! Yeah, we've been doing like parodies of uh, the characters as we've been watching. So pretty sweet. I don't want to look at it too much. Yeah, no, Megan's like, I haven't I watched think, this far. I think I saw some. Oh no, spoiler! Oh no, spoilers, but Megan. I kind of have a feeling it was gonna happen. Oh no! Come on. So. Anyway. Oh, well. <laughs> Spoilers by like buying games before you've watched it. Why did you warn me? I didn't know. You just, I didn't expect you to whip it out. But that's okay. Anyway. So continuing the pickups. But anyway, continuing the pickups. Um, one of these I got at the con. And then the other one is uh, another Chris Lake uh, sale at this the guy. con. Um, so the first one is an Atlas title. Love Atlas titles. And it's Growlancer Leg... Or... Legacy Heritage of War, uh, and it's a limited edition, so it has, in traditional Atlas and working designs fashion, it has a bunch of extras, CD trinkets, and I have a theory. I think this game was a working, going to be a working designs game, um, but working designs, they ended their tenure like as a quotes. game developer around, uh, or publisher rather, around the time of the PS2. So I think the, all these extras just scream working designs, um, but it was Atlas, so... I really Atlas, like off how awesome yes. this little little book inside is. Yeah, look at the back artwork, too. It looks really I good. I don't want to, like, stretch it out, but it's so colorful. Yeah, it's really nice. Absolutely beautiful. So, really glad to have that, another Atlas game to the collection, and got it for uh, under the value it normally goes for online or at stores, so was very happy to get a good price at a con, because that sometimes is difficult. Um, well, Megan is... Baffling. That. Yeah. <laughs> um, to figure out how to get back in. Speaking of working designs, um, the next game is a working designs game, thanks to Chris. Gave me a really good price on it. And it is Iron Storm for the Saga Saturn. Always glad to have another Saturn game, especially when it's working designs. And this one uh, is probably the least pricey Saturn uh, working designs games, but it's been rising. I've noticed uh, last year when I looked up, I was I could see it for like 15 bucks and stuff, and it's been steadily going up uh, since last year. So uh, there's a, still a few cheap working designs games you can get for PS2 and stuff, but um, really cool to get this one. And one thing I found interesting is it said a portion of the proceeds from the sale of Iron Storm will be donated to the United States Holocaust Museum, which I thought was kind of interesting because it's I a military strategy cool. game. So pretty cool. Very glad to have that. I'm going to come back to this super, super quickly. Um, <laughs> just because, since wow. it's open. So the music CD's in there. I'm not going to take that out. Uh, media disc, which I'm not quite sure. What you put it in a PC and it has a bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Um, I think... These are the cool things. These are the cool things I want to show off real Some quick. Pins. There's a set of three pins, which I don't know how they'll show, show up, up on camera. <laughs> See, I love this kind of stuff in collector's editions and limited editions. Um, so I, I like to show them off. Those cards are awesome. These cool lenticular. I love lenticular. It still works for me. <laughs> I'm not a kid on... anymore. I love the Camera. pseudo 3D effect. Yeah, but pretty cool. Anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt. I no, just thought they'd just... be worth showing off. So well, there's that. So let's continue with the Atlas theme. Um, after the con was over with, in the car, Chris had mentioned one of the games that he had picked up at the con. He was like, I think you guys might want to want to do this, or want to get this from me. So, luckily we had some money in PayPal that was set aside to get something else, which you'll find out what that was. Um, and since we didn't need it for the something else that it was set aside for, we put it towards this. Can't believe it. Can't believe we have this. It's an Atlas title, like I said, and it's a big one. One of the big ones to get. Yeah. It is Rule of Rose for the PS2. Which is perfect. Can't believe it. Because... You know, Halloween's going to be coming oh, out yeah, next look month. At that. I was like, <laughs> what? So, pretty cool. Scary game. And uh, it's got a dog on the back, which reminds me of our dog, Argo. And uh, pretty cool game to get. This is like one of the crown jewels for the PS2 collection, and it's in fantastic shape. So, yeah. awesome. Chris, thank you for that. I always and, thought the cover uh, looked really cool. Yeah, it's one of the coolest <clears throat> cover arts I've ever seen. So, <sighs> There's something else I, I think we thing. got, and I just... I don't remember. Oh, wait, I mean, it's not really that big of a it. deal. We didn't spend any money on this thing. Yeah, this was a gift. Somebody really awesome gave us a gift. Yeah, it was a gift we forgot to mention in part one. But maybe it was so we could talk about it with our other um, maybe. pickups. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like um, this Christmas. needs... To, it, like, it's Christmas, and <laughs> like, it's Chris... 
mess. Um, you'll get where I'm going with that. <laughs> oh, wait, I kind of spoiled what I was showing. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, you saw it. Somebody really, really awesome gave us a gift. Um, and I kissed this person after she said was so gift was given. I was um, devastated. <laughs> I wanted to kiss really. this person. I wanted, I wanted to kiss this person. Um, this was gifted to us by someone really awesome. And that awesome person is Chris Lake. Who Our buddy Chris. He hooked us up with, you know, other, other said stuff. games. Um, now, the game I already bought, uh, and the manual was gifted you saw on our at a cheap video. price um, from another friend. Um, Chris was awesome enough to get us the box. And it means so, so... I can't even talk... Um, so, so, so very, so very much. And this is probably, I mean, all the gifts that we've gotten from people are super sweet, but this definitely outdoes them all. So Chris, thank you so much. And there it is. Earthbound box. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm flabbergasted. I have no words. Even, you know, still to this day, it's been a while since. Yeah. And we some of you may have noticed, us. cause we did show our con video. You probably saw in that video that we did get this, but we yes. haven't officially in case you didn't, announced it. You know, here it is in all it's, it's glory and all it's beautiful, fantastic earthbound yep, glory. So to have it's, that game complete. Yes. Now the box has gotten a little love. Um, but Sorry. you know what? I'm okay with that. It's we will mine. keep loving it. It's mine. It's mine. And I will pet it and stroke it. No, I, I don't blame her because... Yes, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. But it's we uh, we had a hashtag fun. for our our buddy Chris, that Lake Luck, because he always brought the luck Being in town. Weird. When he uh, he came by, and or him and his brother came by, and we got good deals the same weekend they were here. But we changed the hashtag to that Lake Love because that was... Such a kind, the love. a very kind gesture for him to um, help us complete that game. He knew we were looking for it. He was there when we got the cart, um, and he knew that's all that we needed. And what's great is this was selling complete at the con, and we didn't get to the con until quite into the yeah. actual event. So he, before we got there, he managed to get them to separate it, and he yeah. got it for us, and he did not have to do that. So, Chris, yeah, Nintendork, which is his YouTube name, thank you so much, Chris. We both appreciate it. Not just Megan, even though she uh, was so excited that she made faces like this <laughs> in our last video. Um, she was so like, oh my gosh, that she got it. So, really, really cool. Um, I, I just can't say enough thank yous, Chris, because it's, it's unbelievable. So, that was uh, the entirety of our con experience in terms of pickups, which is awesome that not only did we get stuff we've been looking for, some cool additions to the collection, but uh, we got a hookup that will never be forgotten. Definitely <laughs> one of the best. The wording of that. We hooked up. We hooked up. It was, uh... <laughs> it was a good hookup. But no, like, <laughs> all, all joking aside, really awesome. Um, we've really had some generous people in our lives, as you can tell from the past couple of pickup videos that we seems like we always are saying, oh, somebody gave us this and gave us that. So thank you to everyone who's done that, and thank you, Chris, for... Hashtag feeling the love. <sighs> hashtag. Is that how kids do hashtags nowadays? Uh, Whatever. But yeah, so awesome and uh great way to round off our pickups for September. So that was our pickups entirety. We Whoop, had to, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Being we had to divide ball. it up into two <laughs> videos because of uh we wanted to not just show quickly everything we got, we wanted to talk about some of these some some of these things. Megan, are you excited that you have that? I'd say she is. <laughs> so I'm very excited. So yes, very cool. Awesome to have month. That. Awesome pickups. Um, awesome friends. Yeah. Awesome games. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you oh, in the wait. next video. Wait, what? Even what? awesome viewers, because you guys watch us. Couldn't so. do it without viewers like you. But awesome. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> As everybody, always, guys, thank viewers, you. and uh, people who make these videos possible. So it really makes it fun work doing them. So we'll see you in the next Bright Lovers. I'm really not excited at all. I got it! Let's go!